So when you are suddenly experiencing any problems with your Ubiquiti UAP Nano HD access points, then it's very likely that there was something going wrong with the latest firmware updates for the controller and for the um, Cloud Key Gen 2. On my side, at least, all the Nano HD access points um, were not visible and maintainable in the web interface. So, uh, if you're experiencing this now, I'm gonna introduce you to two methods. One is a software method to get your control, uh, to get your access point back working, and the second one is a factory reset uh, because these are two things that help me. Um, the software part helped on one access point, and the hardware reset, the default reset, worked on another device. So, let's see how we do this. Let's start with a software process on getting rid of this problem. First of all, make sure that you're in the dashboard and that you are opted to the classic dashboard, not the fancy new one with half the functions not available and the other one hidden where you can't find them. So go to the classic design. Next, we go into the settings and in the site settings, which is the standard default page when opening the setup page. Go all the way down to the bottom and there you find uh, credentials for SSH. Now copy these credentials, username and password. Next, go to the devices page, then click on the device which has adoption problems. And then in the upper right corner of the box, you can find the plus button. Click the plus button and underneath the plus button, you can find um, two text fields for username and password. Make sure to enter the credentials we copied before. Try this one. If the adoption works, everything is fine. If this doesn't work, try disabling the verify SSH function in this pop-up window instead. Try it once again. If all this fails, let's go to the next step, factory resetting your hardware. Well, if the software approach didn't work, then you have to go to your device and then you have to reset it. It can be quite tricky to unmount it from the ceiling with a screwdriver or, for example, with a zip tie. Um, don't move it in too, uh, too far into the housing, just, <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> and uh, so uh, then you can unmount it. You hear it clicking and then you can rotate it counterclockwise. After that, you see this uh, little reset button here. Uh, push it with a paper clip for about five seconds or so, the device will factory reset then. After that, you go to your dashboard and if the former device name is still visible in the dashboard, then you first have to forget the old device and then you can adopt this one as a new one. It forgets its name and all the settings, which you can later um, put into the console, um, but then you will definitely be able to control this device again. At least until the next firmware update fucks up everything again.